Um, well, you can wear bodysuits, just don't clip them. Yeah. Having a bodysuit and you go to school and maybe you don't use wipes. You know what I'm saying? Use regular tissue. You wipe, but you'll still have the pee smell will be there. Or maybe you have to take a midday poop. You know what I'm saying? And you put the bodysuit on or you put your thong back on and thongs are made to go in your butt because you don't want to have the big draws. You know what I'm saying? Think about that moisture. Think about that pee. And think about that poop. All in one area. Closed in like this. Smothered like that all day. Once you let that thing breathe, it's going to be like, oh my God. Thing is, you should smell yourself before somebody else do. Another thing I can throw off your pH balance, too much sugar. What's up, y'all? So we're back with another video. Another car video. Another car video. So some, some of y'all wanted us to talk about hygiene again. And so we didn't really talk about it in the other video that we had, but we wanted to elaborate a little bit. Well, I kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit um, on actually what can throw your pH balance off, which is... Oh, yeah. Um, you heard right. Guys, I need... Throwing off your pH. Okay, Y'all know it's, it gets dark early here. So yeah, um, let me put my glasses on because we finna take a little ride while we have a little chat. Where's my card? Okay. Y'all wanna get some mini? Y'all want some mini? Put my little glass on. Y'all so, want yeah. some mini? Fuck it. So yeah, um, oh for sure. God. Don't look at my hair, guys. That was... Yeah, her braids gonna come down. Focus. Sorry, my hair looks so bad. I hate looking bad on camera. But I don't know how you do it. I just <laughs> So yeah, um you heard that right. The first thing is thongs and bodysuits. Y'all gotta be careful with the thongs and bodysuits. Um Well you can wear bodysuits, just don't clip them. Yeah. I wear them and I don't clip them because it hurts me. So let me ask you, have you ever had a situation where you wore the bodysuit and you was like, it's I'm not saying that on camera. I would. I'm 34 years old, okay? I could be real with y'all. I don't wear thongs for a very long time. And what I mean is maybe if I'm going to dress up for my man, I don't have a man yet. When I would dress up for my men, when I put them on. I don't think we should go further into explaining. You're right. Okay, so I just don't. <laughs> wear, I don't want to hear that. Okay. I don't want to know how I was met. Not the Sit back. Okay, so when it comes to like thongs, okay, so I'm gonna give y'all an example of what type of stuff can throw off your pH. And when I say throw it off, meaning like it'll give you that. Have y'all ever walked past somebody and they give off fish? Yep. I was gonna say something. <laughs> and it smells like fish. Not even trying to be funny, but a lot of girls don't know that. Well, for one, your body has. Um, fluids right so say if I think you go, we should start driving we're gonna leave in a second focus because she want a, a smoothie from up street we're gonna go so if you pee think about it, if you pee and you wipe right but some people they don't clean properly your lips if you don't clean properly of course Wait, i thought it's for guys too it could be for guys like to know about women but hygiene wise mm -hmm. as far as like what can throw up your ph this is really for the girls boys don't have a woo-ha you know what i'm saying so like say if you have on a bodysuit and you go to school and maybe you don't use wipes, you know what I'm saying? Use regular tissue. You wipe, but you'll still have the pee smell will be there. Or maybe you have to take a midday poop. You know what I'm saying? And you put the bodysuit on or you put your thong back on and thongs are made to go in your butt because you don't want to have the big draws. You know what I'm saying? Think about that moisture. Think about that pee. And think about that poop. All in one area, closed in like this, smothered like that all day. Once you let that thing breathe, it's gonna be like, oh my god! What Sissy Red said. Let that breathe. But she was talking crotch. about. She was talking about something else. She she wanted to breathe, but she not talking about. I don't know. Uh, yes, you. I'm not sure. Yeah, don't look so be careful when it comes to them body suits because it will give you odor. Y'all know them shorts. Them shorts that's real. Nike pros. No. Nike pros can do that too. Yeah, that happened to me. I was wearing Nike pros during practice and I was like, 
I know that's not my stuff. I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I went to the bathroom and I started trying to. Yeah, because if you think but about. But some people. Am I. Stop. Don't talk about nobody's <laughs> school. I wasn't. Think about your bodily fluids, your sweat as well. So if you're sweating and you had on super tight shorts, super, super tight shorts. And you flipping and you doing your legs like this and your wind just in everybody's face. Exactly. Everybody finna be like, oh no. Oh no. Thing is, you should smell yourself before somebody else do. Another, I do. Another thing. Um, those shorts, they're like jean shorts. The Come ones like the one Rolly. Rolly had on. Yeah. The, like the oh ones, my God. Like the ones Rolly had on. Not even trying to be funny. If you watch Baddies, you know. But I could put an example. I'm going to try to find an example to put it up here. Boom. So, those jean shorts. A lot of times, the the dye from the jean shorts. I don't know if y'all ever had like white Air Force ones and y'all jeans. Well, y'all don't wear flare jeans, but back in the day when we wore flare jeans, the dye from the shoe will get the dye from the pants will get on our shoe and turn our shoes blue, it and was? it gets stuck. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's because we wore flare pants. Y'all just kind of wear them, but y'all wear skinny jeans, so y'all don't have to go through that. But like, think about the dye that'll rub up on your shoes. That dye can get in your vaginal area and give you a smell so first things first thongs you might want to take them out right. the body suits you wear them but what i don't don't clip them no. yeah don't clip them maybe you can tuck them one two buckle my shoes three four focus can you focus don't clip them it might just sit there and wag like a tail in your pants that's but what i do better tie it you tie it? Like, what you mean? What you mean? You and me, I'd be up. You tie it where? Like, if I put it on, right? I put my bodysuit on. Uh huh. And then I like tie it around my waist, but it's still tucked, so you can't see. You like gotta that. show them how you did, uh -huh. right? And then I'll buckle it when it's tied, but not around my crotch. So she said she tie it like that. Sometimes. Like on the side of your hip? Yeah. And you can't tell. Oh, because your jeans are tight and it keeps it on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's that's smart. I never thought about that. Okay, so y'all, instead of buckling it at the bottom, tie it on your side. The best underwear, honestly, are cotton panties. If you want to wear like... Those? Yes, I got you cotton panties. They need to be breathable. Bre <laughs> Remember that breathable cotton panties are your best friend. Silk um, I'm not too. They have silk ones. Silk panties, sure. They feel great. Silk panties, yeah. But the ones like the polyester. No, cause there's some underwear like this texture that I had before, and I like them a lot. Yeah, if they're like a softer material, it's okay. But again, remember, let it breathe, y'all. Let it breathe. Another thing that can throw up your pH balance are condoms, for y'all that are sexually active. It not can, me though it could throw it off because of the latex and some women are actually allergic to that um i know some girls be like i'm allergic to it that's just because they don't be wanting to use a condom they just be wanting a raw dog and that's not it um but some women actually are allergic to it and they have to use lamb skin condoms <sighs> it's a lot it is i just want to get a smoothie okay those are more expensive but you would rather pay more for lambskin condoms than to have a child or a baby y'all know how much kids cost right now babies i don't i don't have any babies she's gonna adult. have one soon i don't have any little babies okay y'all she's gonna have an announcement next year <laughs> <laughs> so we got that thongs body suits condoms right excuse me yeah. Um, another thing. See, the comb was in here. Oh. What, what? Another thing. Fuck you. Oh, was I was looking for lip gloss. Oh, I had some. Another thing I can throw off your pH balance too much sugar. Too much sugar. Don't look at me. So that means chocolate, candy, all them juices. Y'all girls don't like to drink no water. Baby. That's why I don't nobody like to go in the bathroom after y'all because y'all done left that cat in the stall. Drink some <laughs> water, okay? Drink the water. Stop drinking all that juice. They say cranberry juice makes it like. Yeah, but it's not giving cranberry juice every single day. I don't drink. Cranberry juice is okay. The thing is, she does drink cranberry juice. Not cranberry juice. What's cranberry? <laughs> you can drink the cranberry juice, but make sure y'all drink some water. 
also pineapple juice is good too okay pineapple juice is good as well but please don't be like oh i could drink juice now i could drink drink an adequate amount of water so that it can flush out okay you know your vagina area naturally cleans itself i personally flush myself out with water that that's it just water and when i take a shower because some people don't know when you take a shower y'all when you're doing like your hygiene thing first of all another thing that can throw your ph off do not use soap whatever you do she don't mean like on your whole body she's just talking about your crotch because some but, people are gonna yeah. be like no so don't wash up with soap please wash please. up with soap right soap but in your vagina area just the top part like the top part like the sides maybe skim over it a little bit but don't get in there and clean it out like uh, me personally i use a separate towel like you do i have a wash rag and i only use that and i clean out of it that's what i do when you clean it are you thoroughly cleaning inside of the lips though do i go into like detail yeah just say you clean i lift one leg up okay <laughs> I Some put, people don't know for real. And I get the rag and I drench it in water and I wring it out a little bit and you clean it. Yeah. Yeah, you should. There's nothing wrong with talking about that. The embarrassing when it's embarrassing is when you go to school and you smell like fish. That's embarrassing. Okay, so us having we having to talk. Y'all is our family, y'all is our sisters, our daughters, our cousins, our kids. brothers, all of that. We're talking about all of that. Our you man clean it up. <laughs> Clean it. You say okay. So say what you do one more time. I'm gonna show y'all. No, I'm just playing. I'm not gonna just be like explain that. it. Go ahead. But I'm gonna. I lift up a leg and I put it because I have a shower. I don't like. I have a bath and a shower. So like you put your what, foot on the side of the tub. Yeah, I put it on the side of the tub or higher so that I can really. And then I look down and you get the rag and you lift like spread it apart and really clean. Love that yourself. Not too rough because then it's gonna hurt. Because I definitely done that before and it hurt real bad. Okay. But you just gotta. Because it might be like discharge, like just stuff in there. You just got to clean it out. They can't hear you. And you just got to clean it out. They can't hear me. It might be what in there? Discharge. Yeah. And extra period stuff. Okay. And doodle balls. <laughs> okay. And also when you shower, let me give y'all a second because I don't want parents to feel like I'm too vulgar, but I'm just trying to tell y'all how to clean yourselves. I'm going to give y'all a second if you want to exit out this video. When you stand in the shower and you trying to wash out your booty, <laughs> turn around, spread them cheeks, spread yeah, them out, yeah, spread them out. No, don't do that. <laughs> spread them out. Turn around and let the let the shower hit your butt. And then go. No, no, I'm saying like go like this. And you gotta bend over. Oh yeah, spread your butt. Not to where you trying to rip the crack open, but open butt. Turn around and just bend over. Let the water. You gotta spread your booty when you're trying to clean your booty. You know if what I'm saying? If you don't clean that way, y'all, y'all gonna y'all have some hygiene issues. And I honestly, open my legs and you don't smell anything, cause that's what I do. I but still myself. keep your legs closed though. That's unladylike. Close uh, your legs. No, I'm, I'm literally so uncomfortable. My feet hurt down there. I'm saying, like, if you're a person like me in class and you sit with your legs open, like, no matter what you're wearing, like that. Yeah, it don't smell like anything. Yeah, so, and some people might be like, duh, this stuff is sweating to it. Uh, no. I know adults. I'm 34, y'all. Clock it. 34. I know adults. What does that, that mean? People clock like, it. Like, check that. Like, clock that. Oh, uh, they be like, hit her. Clock it. Clock it. Like, yeah, like, I boom. What does that mean? Um, I know adults that I ran into that was stanky in high school. They're stanky now as an adult. And I don't know how they have children or significant others or anything. So, yeah. The soap. Keep the soap from Diana. Get get soaps that are more gentle. Avino was good. Baby soap. I used Avino. Avino was I don't really have good though, because it was mine. Yeah. She liked to take my stuff. She feel like our my I'm not stuff taking is that ours. watermelon stuff. Oh, I was talking about the watermelon body scrub. And I ain't gonna hold you. I accidentally got some in my uh. Uh, it was burning. I was like, oh Jesus, how did I do that? But that's okay. You just rinse it out and keep going. Um, remember, all those sugars can cause an overgrowth of bacteria and give you a yeast infection. Now let me tell you something right now. If you ain't never had a yeast infection, you don't want one. 
when I tell you it is the most irritating, itchy, painful. Once it gets too bad, it gets painful. Okay? Y'all, it literally feels like somebody took a cactus and just stuck it up there. Like, it's prickly. Like, it's so itchy, I can't even describe it. So, be careful. Because maybe sometimes it, it gets kind of itchy and then it'll get dry. Kind of like sandpaper. Like, if your skin is really, really dry and it's rubbing up against each other, think about that on your vagina area. And it's, it's like... Um, you know when they say overgrowth of yeast? Y'all ever seen yeast, like stuff that you make bread with? It kind of looks like, it looks white. White and like chunky. Right. Yeast I didn't know that part. Yeast infections are not fun. When I tell you they're not fun, y'all. So be careful. Be careful with them sugars. Be careful with them soaps. Just try to clean. We still haven't pulled off yet, guys. And we about to go. You said that 30 minutes ago. Be careful with them soaps. I ain't even talking about them be careful with them soaps those condoms those those shorts and those bodysuits because y'all are notorious for wearing those bodysuits baby especially pretty little thing do they what was it pretty little girl pretty little pretty thing, thing? Mm -hmm. they have bodysuits i have a whole outfit i want one really bad for christmas bodysuits like the one from there oh i gotta take some to y'all uh Y'all not nosy, so I'm just not gonna read her business. Um, I I feel like I covered everything. Oh, tampons and <gasps> your cycle. Your cycle can throw off your pH as well. Okay, y'all. Um, cycles are a touchy subject, and I understand that because a lot of girls don't know how to properly clean themselves when they have cycles. Sometimes. Y'all don't know how to wear the proper underwear for your pads. And some women wear tampons. Some girls wear tampons. Some people at my school do. Yeah, where it can kind of leak through. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's another thing. So remember like it. And um, sometimes your blood, depending on what you eat, it can smell like pennies, like iron. Because it's a lot of iron, you know, iron in your body and stuff like that. So I don't Mine know. Mine smells like I don't know. Has it? It like. never smelled like iron, like metal. I don't think so. What does metal smell like? Like I don't know, like copper, like pennies, like. Um, I don't think so. What does your cycle smell like? Though? I don't know. <laughs> like discharge. Well, yeah, everybody discharge has a has a different smell, but, but it doesn't stink. That's the thing. It never stinks. It actually. Like depending on what it like what pad I wear, it doesn't stink. Like if right. I wear a scented pad, it's not gonna. It's don't smoke. wear don't wear scented pads. No, I had some. They for they were from Dollar Tree, and they actually like they smell good, but they're not. Them Dollar Tree pads, these specific ones, they are really. Good. Yeah, they smell good, but they're not actually like. I don't know how yeah. to explain it. Whether the lavender ones or were they mint ones? They the were lavender, lavender. Yeah, those. are And really it smells so good. You can't even smell the blood on there. You can't even smell it. Yeah. Or if I wear a regular one, it still doesn't smell like anything. That's because I use like wipes and stuff. And be careful with certain pads because they can make you sick down the line. Like always, sometimes we absolutely have to get those. We get those, but some like um, the company called Honey Pot those are really good and then by the way this video is not sponsored by honey pot but y'all hit me up so honey pot and they have the ones at dollar tree um uh, where i randomly just grabbed some because i needed some but when i got there it i guess they're like imitating honey pot pads when i tell you i ain't looked back and got now another pad them pads are so good y'all so and another thing make sure you're changing your pad really move your toes <laughs> move not it. for free change your shut up change your pads often y'all don't sit there with that bloody pad all day because sometimes when you're on your cycle some teachers don't like get in and they're not gonna let you go to the bathroom me personally i walk out i did that one time and i got kicked out but oh well seventh yeah grade. seventh grade i didn't care but most of my teachers i have more cooler like younger teachers so they kind of get it more so yeah. i've been going to the bathroom but if your teacher don't let you go to the bathroom even after you tell them it's an emergency walk out the classroom because you're not going to tell me when i use the bathroom oh lord okay so had tampons she really wants to use tampons but i'm scared guys um it's gonna hurt i'm not in the place of where i want to personally insert the tampon i don't know why i don't want to do that i came out of your crotch i you did but I'm just not. I didn't want to come out your crotch. 
I'm not at that place yet. Maybe when we're stepping more into like the high school thing. Cause sometimes, honestly, you can forget it's up there. I've done it. Anybody who wears tampons can tell you like, dang, did I remember to take it out? You Hold don't on. Gotta check. And I pushed it up. No, because, and then you put on another one, you forget, but they eventually come back down. But there is a risk when using tampons, you can get to toxic, TSS, toxic shock syndrome. I don't know everything that goes along with that. I just know the risk is on the bottle. If you want to look it up, you can't. Remember, that's T-S-S. It's a risk when you... Guys, when, being a girl is hard. It is. It is. I, it is. Being a woman... And people like, be like, no. Being a boy is hard. Um, being a boy is not as hard as you think. I mean, being a black man in America, sure. <laughs> but... Being a woman is hard when you're dealing with your emotions. Your emotions be going crazy during your cycle. Like, it's a lot that, I know goes, do. that goes into that. So, it's, yes, like I said, lastly, you got your tampons and your pads. Tampons. Like I said, I know she talked about it. Organic tampons and stuff like that are way better than tampons. Don't use tampons. Uh-uh, you're not using that. Wait, I um, was just calling it that because I said tampon. I just said tampax. I didn't yeah, know that was a, actual. That's the name of a company. Mm -hmm. What is it? <laughs> they have tampons and pads. Is it bad? They have dyes in them, oh. like dyes. Like, you know how they be like eating white rice is bad because they bleach the rice mm -hmm. and make it white. They have different type of bleaches, just like shorts. They have t different type of bleaches and, and stuff. White sugar and white sugar. Again white sugar eating all that sugar dark chocolate i use i eat brown sugar yeah and brown chocolate. just things that have a lot of sugar can cause an overgrowth of bacteria which will cause you to have a smell and remember um when you're cleaning use water as much as you can as much water as you possibly can even if you didn't say you didn't use any soap down there at all even if you just stood in the shower for like three to five minutes, just let the shower run on you. You will be good. Unless you, cause I'm very, very, um, uh, I'm really big on hygiene. I'm so big on hygiene. Like, and if it's a guy that I'm dating and he has bad hygiene, I I dealt with it before, I'll never deal with it again. I'm not gonna oh, ever. sneak dissing. No, it's no sneak dissing, I'm so serious. I'm just saying I'll never love nobody that much again. I tried to help, it didn't work, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to deal with that anymore. But I'm just saying like as far as like um, breath and things like that. So you got all of this fluids going on. Some men, if they don't brush their teeth, think about it, they have bacteria. And they do something sexually with a girl, now the bacteria from your mouth is now in the bacteria in your vagina. You know what I'm saying? You got all of these bacteria. They twerking and dancing all in your coochie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a bad, it's it's just, it's not a good look, you guys. So, oh, and um, chocolate, like any chocolate, and you eat it while you're on your cycle, it doesn't help. Because I used to eat it all the time, but it actually makes the cramps worse because they say eating chocolate helps it. But mommy told me that it makes it worse, actually. What do you, how, what do you physically, since they said it helps, I said it makes it worse. What do you feel it does for you? I feel like at some points it helps, but then at other times it just hurts. Like it just be like, dang, yeah. it just don't work. So I recommend heating pads, um, laying down. Hot don't, water bottle if you don't have a heating pad. Yeah. A hot, hot towel. Get some hot, super hot, hot water. Maybe throw it in the microwave. With, you know, put the towel in the microwave, but not too, for too long. And just heat it up and let up. Because she gets really bad cramps. I mean, really bad cramps. And for the longest, she would eat and the pickles Snickers ice cream. Oh, my gosh. And pickles help, too. I thought my church coach was joking about it. It helps. Pickle, like, pickle juice. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I'm going to just thug it out. I'm going to thug it out. Sometimes you take alcohol. But that's not what the point of this video is. We're just talking about hygiene um, and what can throw off your pH balance. I feel like I covered everything for the most part. If I forgot anything comment down below and also let us know what other videos if y'all like to see let us know what y'all want to say and how did y'all like our gingerbread video who do y'all think Here we go. did a great job on their gingerbread house yeah, I personally I, feel like I won when it said hot, <laughs> hot. guys y'all know what it said alright y'all it said hot six. hush 
All right, y'all, we're going to pull up to this place and get us a smoothie. Let us know if there's anything else y'all want us to chat about. Um, thank you to the newcomers. Thank you to the people that's been here rocking with us all this time. We know we fool with y'all. We love y'all so much. And we are out. We'll catch y'all in the next video. She's going to be so weird.